Lake trout are such a fun fish to catch. They're just crazy, and uh, I think this show really showcases how fun they really can be. That's right, yeah, it's always a good time. I mean, every time you go up there, you know it's gonna be beautiful. You're out in the middle of nature, you know, you get to share yeah. those, those memories together, and that's what it's all about. Being devoted to something means giving everything, everything that you have. And we give that to our family, we give that to the things that we, that we love to do. I mean, it's going to be an adventure every single day that we carry out into the outdoors or on the lake, on the ice. Each and everything that we do, we have that, that devotion. We can't thank the man above enough for what he's given us here and all these cool awesome experiences that we have that's that's the true blessing that we really have in this whole thing look at that trout got him got him oh champion, Lunds Pro V Bass, the boat that propelled me to victory at the 2023 Bassmaster Classic. I fish bass professionally, but love chasing walleyes, crappies, pike, ground home on Lake of the Woods. The Pro V Bass is available in 18 and 20 foot models with seating for four, designed to handle big rough seas, yet draft in extremely shallow water. For me, this is the ultimate fishing machine for multi-species versatility and to compete at the highest level. Just got out to our first spot. We uh, made the trek. We're sitting up here on Whitefish Bay on Lake of the Woods, and we are going to be going after some lake trout. This is a pretty special trip to Ashley and I, as this is actually one of our first dates that we ever did. Yep, so. one of our first trips ever that we went somewhere fishing together. Yep. This is where we came up to Vic and Dots in Whitefish Bay, and. We're doing it, we've been doing it for years now. And yeah. Whitefish Bay is a unique place up in Lake of the Woods, Canada that you can go and you can catch a bunch of lake trout. Um, there's a good variety of other fish up there as well. Um, but I got the opportunity when I met John. Uh, he had grown up right on the border of Canada and the United States. And uh, he, him and his family had gone up to Whitefish Bay for, for a long, long time. 
um, ever since he was a kid. And so when I first met him, I had heard all these stories of Whitefish Bay and how awesome it was. And so I finally got my chance to get up there and see for myself. And I think that was the first trip that I had ever been to Canada. First trip that I had ever caught a lake trout. And I can tell you one thing, I was hooked. You know, bringing Ashley there for the first time was really, really fun for me because instead of telling her all the stories and explaining to her how cool it is up there and how surreal it is, you know, I actually got to bring her up there and show it to her. And that was one of the funnest trips ever was that first trip that we went up there together. And now, you know, I'm super excited because we bring our girls up there and they're getting that same cool experience that I got growing up. And those are some of the best memories that I have. And to be able to create that with Ashley and the family is just something that, you know, I won't ever take for granted again. And it's just super cool to be able to go up there and share that together. We just switched and uh, came into the wind blowing spot here. You know, trout kind of like, you know, obviously where the bait are and a lot of times when that wind comes up, you ready, Ben? Yep, I'm ready. Okay, he's coming up right here. He ain't quite ready to come up yet. I can oh, see him. I can see him. I can see him rolling down there. He's rolling like crazy. Mm -hmm. Gotta be careful. <laughs> there he goes, there he goes. <laughs> oh, oh man. <laughs> he does not want to come up. He's a good one. I can see him there, there he is. It looks like a really good one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Real good one. He's rolling, they like to roll a lot. Sometimes it can be tricky to get up into the net. Just because of that sheer fact, there he is. Oh yeah, nice trout. Real nice trout. Here you go, babe. You ready? Oh, not quite. Not quite. Go ahead and extend that net a little bit if you have to. Extend the net, babe, if you have to. So I got him. Got him? Perfect. Nice. Nice. <laughs> All right. Heck yeah. Awesome. First lake trout. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That feels good after. Yeah, that feels good. We just lost two, and uh, so we got a laker in the net. Yeah, it feels good after not being here for a couple of years and the border being closed and whatnot. It feels really good to be back up here again and yeah. catching lake trout. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That is awesome. Right. Well, look at that. Wow, nice one. Your lake trout. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that right there is what we're after. Mm -hmm. That's a perfect one. I got them in the gills there a little bit. So I think that one's going to come home with us for fresh supper tonight. Yeah. Um, you know, we like to keep the smaller ones like this and let those bigger trophy ones go. This is a perfect size if you're going to eat a trout. And actually up here um, in Whitefish Bay, these are inland trout. So, you know, the thing is, is um, a lot of people um, say that trout aren't that great. Well, these ones are. They get a real red meat on them and, uh, and they taste really good. So, um, but yeah, heck yeah, we got to start to it. We're going to hurry up and get this one into the cooler here and we're gonna get back at her because they're biting out there. There's, we just lost one and got one, so we're gonna give her a heck.
<laughs> just went over that same pass and he just smashed it. <laughs> so we're coming in here and there's a, a little series of points coming off of these islands that are just jutting in and out. And um, we're going anywhere from 24 to uh, like 33 feet of water. I can see there's four more trout sitting down there right off that point right there right now. And, um, and there's a good wind blowing right in here. It's kind of like a funnel area. There's a lot of bait right here. We can see the little those four trout right there, babe. Oh, yeah. But um, there's a lot of fish in this general area right here. Man, he's he feels pretty good. He feels like another good one. Sitting up here on Lake of the Woods doing what a, one of our, oh, there he goes. <laughs> this is basically, oh man, look at him go. <laughs> oh, and this is why you lake trout fish right here, guys. I mean, look at him. He's just running right at the boat. Oh my gosh. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I tell you what. Oh, unreal. He is staying down. Oh man, this feels like a good one. I think he's a little tangled up. Lake trout really like to spin and twist and turn. And uh, it just makes it for a fun fight. They see oh, yeah. the boat. Oh yeah, nice trout. Real nice trout. Oh, it's a nice Beautiful. one. <laughs> Another one on the rumble shad. That Ooh. thing is on fire today. Hey, buddy. Got that hey. purple with the pink throat and the yellow belly. That thing's on fire. Way to go. <laughs> Heck yeah. That is awesome. Awesome. Wow. What a beautiful fish, man. This is just, this is so much fun. So much fun. Oh, and it's crazy. Like we've been out here and we haven't even seen another boat the entire time we've nope, been fishing. It's another just, single boat the whole absolutely day. Absolutely beautiful. Ever since I took that first trip up there with John, uh, Canada has always been a place that I've really looked forward to, to going to. Um, it's, it's beautiful. The scenery is absolutely stunning. Uh, the nice calm waters, beautiful sunsets. Uh, you know, it's really a special treasured place uh, that you can't find nowadays just anywhere. Uh, so we always look forward to being able to be up there, be out in the wilderness. Uh, you know, we always see wildlife when we're up there every time. And it's just you and nature and the lake trout. And it is wonderful. Oh, that's a pretty fish. That's a nice one right there. That is. Just a chunker fight so hard they're just fighting machines i mean you can just feel they're just pure muscle just pretty fish gorgeous fish yes. and uh let's <laughs> tell you what they make make for one heck of a fight yeah they do so much fun sweet very nice cool job. yep all right well we're gonna let this one go oh, this is oh, jumping fish over jumping all over the place <laughs> we're gonna let this one go and uh we're gonna get back down there there's a little window and we're gonna keep yep. on going at it so a little beautiful that fish is oh my gosh those patterns just get see you later girl <laughs> yeah. awesome. Thanks, all John. right let's get another one let's go get another one Ooh.
Lake trout are a very aggressive fish. They're a lot of fun to catch. Uh, they'll give you a run for your money when you got one on the line. Uh, they like to fight hard and, and it's always fun when you can get one in the net. One thing that's very uh, unique about the lake trout up in Lake of the Woods is that they're actually very good eating. So we always like to keep one or two when we head up there and uh, keep them either for the frying pan or we also like to boil them as well. It's another beautiful morning up here in Ontario, Canada. We are, it's day two. We're out on the water. Um, our game plan for today, we got a nice breeze coming in. So we're gonna be fishing the windblown sides and we're gonna keep focusing on those points and some of that structure that we found the fish on yesterday. Some of those humps and reefs and we're gonna kind of hit some of those hot spots, but also kind of find some new areas on the windblown sides that we think look good. And so yeah. today we have, uh, we're gonna use a natural pattern for sure. That's been one of our go-tos throughout the years. It's a little today, cloudier, so a little yep. So we're gonna have a natural pattern on and then we're gonna have that go-to uh, <laughs> purple and, and pink that we yeah, had on yeah. yesterday. We're definitely gonna be putting that on again today. Yeah. And yeah, we're gonna start trolling here and it's gonna be another another beautiful day it looks like. So we're ready to, ready to roll. Ready to roll, let's go get them. One of the biggest things that we've learned over the years of fishing up here on Whitefish Bay is the fact of how the weather can change so fast and be so drastic up here. Make sure that you're packing a full wardrobe, layers. Like today, we've got our full blackfish layers on. I've got my uh, sun shirt underneath, my hoodie underneath my suit. And this morning, we're starting off with 48 degrees and chilly with a breeze and by this afternoon it's supposed to be 78 degrees and sweating hot. So, you know, just don't forget to pack those layers. It's really important to being able to stay comfortable while fishing up here. We've learned over the years that, you know, it can change just like that. So um, just keep that in mind if you're coming up here and make sure that you bring the proper crawling. Give the old Tika a little workout. We're gonna try some jig in here for a little bit. We're sitting right on a reef right here. Got, him, Got one. Got yep. Got him. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Got him. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that was fun. You just crushed it. Right. Nice fish. Ooh. Heck yeah. Yeah. Another nice one. Another nice one. Ooh. Nice babe. That's fun to get him on the jigging rod. Yeah, it is. I think we got ourselves a big one here. Holy man, he crushed that thing. Oh, we yeah. just went over it. Oh, side imaging. Here we go, you ready? Oh, yeah. Ready? Yep. Got him? Perfect. Yes. Woohoo! Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. <laughs> nice, babe. All right. Oh, man, that Ooh. thing just absolutely crushed that. Look at that fish. That's a nice trout right there. We're going to keep on rolling. We're going to get this one back and hopefully catch another one. Fishing lake trout up on Whitefish Bay in Ontario is seriously one of my favorite memories. Going up there as a family, you know, we were growing, I grew up in War Road, Minnesota, and it's right there on the, on the border of Lake of the Woods. So we were super fortunate to have that resource right in our backyard. And honestly, we kind of took it for granted growing up. And now looking back, it's just really cool to understand what we actually had and what we still have. Oh boy, yeah. Yep. Ooh, this one has a lot of weight to it. Yep. Holy cow. And um, still to this day, we go up there now uh, with our own kids and make it a tra tradition for ourselves as well. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There you go. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh. Here, hang on, I'm, I'm gonna get in the motor if you push well, me that way. <laughs> Gosh, you're so fun, aren't they? They're so fun. Yeah. <laughs> Should get a better angle at him now. If I can get him into your hair. Look at that thing. Wow. Look how pretty that is down there. I'm just gonna scoop back oh, for you here so you can get him in. Nice extension there. Can you get him in? Oh, Perfect. Yes. Awesome. Nice wow. Woohoo! Really nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Heck this yeah. is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh man. I'm gonna spot lock this quick. There. Got him? Yep. Nice. Alright, let's take Hold a look up, at... why don't you show everybody what we're catching those right. catching them on here? Here. Grab, grab them. Quick. Oh, you wanna show, show me first? <laughs> look at this thing. This right here. The old rumble shad. Rumble shad wonder, wonder bread, bread pattern is absolutely I mean our last three fish we had just put it on. And our last three three fish now have been on the same lure. It's unreal. Crazy. They are loving it. Let's take a look at you, huh? Oh wow, that's a nice, that's a one, nice there. one there, babe. Ooh. That's a really nice one there. That is. That's a pretty fish. A look at the green. Fish. Look how green that back is. Yeah, look at the coloring oh, on that man, one. Oh man, that's gorgeous. So pretty. Yeah. Yeah, that is so much fun. So much fun. <laughs> oh, I love catching lake trout. They put up a good fight, that's for sure. That's why we've been coming here for years. Is it's just right. so. I mean, you can't, you don't get any better than this right here. No, you don't. Beautiful day, never catching gets old. lake trout, never gets old. Everyone's so fun, fun to come up here and get away from everything and <laughs> catch fish like this. That is awesome. So cool. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, see, see you later. later. Oh, Woohoo! <laughs> Sweet. Oh, it's a good Woo. one. Babe. Lake trout are such a fun fish to catch. They're just crazy, and uh, I think this show really showcases how fun they really can be. That's right, yeah, they, they sure fight hard. They don't like to be hooked very much, but you gotta get as many as you can in the boat, and you know, no matter what, every time you come up here, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, you're just, it's you, nature, and it's just another memory to add to the memory bank together. Yeah. And Since that first time that you gotta go up there and really experience what it's really all about, all those memories now that we've got, from that time on or That's pretty right. priceless. So. I get it now and I'm just happy that I get to share along with that and there's always so many amazing trips that are out there that you can do as a couple and, yep. and as a family. So we're here at Vic and Dot's camp in just out of Nestor Falls, Ontario with Robert. Um, Robert, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, the camp that you got going here and and, okay. uh, and what's going on. So Vic and Dot's was started by my grandparents and uh, they actually sold it to my uncle, you know, in, in the 80s, and then they sold it to me and my wife now, and we've been running it since 2014. And so, you know, it's we've had a lot of repeat clients over the years that actually knew my grandparents. Yep. And, yep. and so, like, e even your parents, yep. you know, it, were what came up when my uncle had the place, and so that kind of introduced you to the, the camp. Correct. Yep. And, and so it's, you know, we, we, we have cabin rentals, we have some boat rentals, and if you're looking to catch some fish out here on Whitefish Bay, I mean, uh, we, yeah. we have a spot for you. Yeah, Whitefish Bay is one of the most premier fishing destinations that you could come to in Ontario. Um, the opportunities for almost every species is here. Yeah. Um, really good muskies. I mean, that's starting up next weekend. Yeah. Um, huge muskies on Whitefish Bay. Awesome lake trout fishing. Northern pike fishing is phenomenal. Smallmouth bass. I mean, you got it all here, right? Yeah, it, 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 it's a multi-species area, and and you know, to me, it, it's it's kind of funny because at, at the beginning of the year, when the ice first was off, everybody chases lake trout because they're shallow, and yep. so we'll boat a lot of fish. You know, the first couple of weeks on lake trout, they'll start going deep as the water, you know, progressively gets warmer, and then we start getting into the northern and the bass. And then, and then, of course, when musky season opens, then, then the people that are yep. out there chasing them around the, around the lake, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you guys have an awesome camp. Like you said, we've been coming here for years, and we look forward to coming here every year, and it's, it's, yeah. uh, it's pretty cool. So um, if anybody's interested, how do they get a hold of you? Where can they find out more information about Vic and Dots? Okay, so we have a website. It's vicandotscamp.com, and uh, we also have a Facebook page, which keeps us up to date on what's happening in camp and you know what, what our customers are up to what we, we as our family are up to and you know that's we we can be phone contacted you know through email uh there's a there's a link on our website we uh we have our phone number is 1-807-484-2325 and you know you can drop drop us a line either way and uh, i'll be happy to answer any of your questions perfect well once again another yeah. awesome well, trip well, man thanks guys for coming yeah. out yeah. It, was, it was a joy to have you again yeah you know, for sure and, and say say hi to the family will do
Thank you.